I was thinking before I started that maybe I join the Holy Roman Empire, but well, and maybe become like a monarchy and try to become the Holy Roman Emperor. But the problem with that is, Austria hates me, so there was no way for me to join. Oh, we got Renaissance in Venetia. Good. Speaking of, where did that actually start? In Siena. Alright. Can I invite someone under? Hello. If I improve relations with you, I'd be able to kind of block the Ottomans even more. Crimea. I don't think the event for Crimea to offer vassalization to the Ottomans has happened yet. Is that or I miss it and they decided not to go with it. I would very much like it if they would not go with it. Now, is there any missions I can almost get? I can't build a dock yet. In Franco Cressy. Culture and religion in Constantinople changes. And tolerance of the two fates. Complete diplo power. For 15 years. It's pretty good. We'll want that immediately. But we'll need to expand the arsenal for that first, which is not gonna happen soon. We need two states. Which we will get once we've finished coring everything. Can permanent claim on Tuscany and Tyrol. If we complete the mission after we humiliate Milan, we will gain 10 more prestige. And I don't really care about the stage. I need all of those provinces, which we will gain a claim on the Italian region. All right. And we have a lot of rebels that will pop up pretty soon. I might want to start contesting them. Get another advisor. I think I just need to reinforce my armies for now at least and get them where they need to be or at least close to where they need to be faction wise aristocrats traders are very low influence which kind of surprises me Well, yes and no, we have a lot of conquests, so that would empower the aristocrats quite a bit, but I think the traders would still be doing decent instead of the guilds. It's influence to overextension and bankruptcy. Never mind. The traders only gain influence through navy tradition? Alright, so we can basically never get the traders in power, gotcha. Which isn't too bad. Their buffs aren't too good. 
Ah, Kosovo is fucked. No, hang on. Yeah, we only expanded one state. We already owned parts of this state. Alright. That's why we can't get that mission yet. That one, Trebizon, gotcha. Is there any other I can apply Naples? And ally Aragon. Naples is allied with Austria. Same with Aragon. I think we'll focus on eating the Ottomans. Although we could start eating the Mamluks. We'd be pretty even, but once again I cannot call any allies. And I can't really expand my army either. We are back to making profits with full maintenance. But that is something. Let's start annexing our our vessel so that we are not over our um, diplo re relations anymore. Double uprisings, we have already taken care of those automatically. Trace, I definitely want them to become a state. Thank you. I might want to start focusing on admin power though. Seeing as we are behind technology wise. We are back to 100 Republican tradition. Good. They are so really Dutch. Is it for life? Or when? How many? Yes, is the term limit. No, this house elections. But the Doge is picked for life. It's only when he dies there are elections. Gotcha. That's probably why it's not a 4 1 1 every time. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Local autonomy... Burgas... No. Demand it be returned. I'll take the morale of the navies. And let's get you over to Constantinople. So you can kick some aristocrats. Still want a better general. Right, you need to take care of the separatists first. We will take the free stability. I'm still excommunicated after all. We've got some Greek separatists in Athens. That will rise up pretty soon. Nothing I can really do about it. Except get back as soon as possible. And we do not need to manually de-siege that. Because Constantinople has a fort. Uh, effect. Lost quite a few men, but that is to be expected. 
actually get you back to Constantinople. I need you rebel stomping there. Do we have enough manpower? To actually... Reinforce you? No. No, we do not. We have like 2k. Too little. I don't think it's gonna be fine. Because all we are dealing with are rebels, the Ottomans will not declare war on us. Because we have way too powerful allies. Cyprus is still guaranteed by the Mamluks and... We are in a trade league with Genoa. You are still too powerful. I can't actually get any claims over here. Knights are also in the Genoan Trade League. So, nothing can be done really. I don't want to go to war with the Ottomans myself, because I do not have the manpower for it. Nor would my allies join in. Uh, let's get the trader some more influence. It's gonna be fine. And I think the Byzantians, Byzantians are going to rebel right when we... Have our 70k back over here when it's fully reinforced this army. Which is decent time with timing at least. Serene Doge is an Tesler. Which sucks. For our income mostly. Right, we gain inflation from our reliance on gold enough i will develop it a bit to get more income the gold income is only a ducat or oh, they need to increase their autonomy we have an army there to stomp down the rebels anyway let me give them a General Denmark is no longer a rival. I think I want the mercantilism. Thank you. I could get a definitely a trade. A market in Venice. That this in Constantinople will be beaten immediately. Did you just go to war with Swalakia? Yes. I really would have loved an alliance with Hungary, not gonna lie. Naples, do you want Ottoman land? You do. I'm tempted to ally Naples. But I don't... Mm, I'd be over my relation slot. And there's no other country I'd like to break my alliance with. Well, actually, maybe break it with Bohemia. Breaking it with Bohemia wouldn't be too bad. So we're not ever going to be a, a monarchy. We won't ever be able to really become the Roman Empire, well, the Holy Roman Emperor. So there's no real reason for me to ally with Bohemia, seeing as they won't help me against the Ottomans, but Naples will. They actually have some 
little influence. Well, add some papal influence. So, Moran, Serbian, Bulgarian. But let's put you back in Athens, in central Constantinople. Could probably expand my fleet a bit. I do have the cash for it. I probably want some more transport, but I'm already over my naval force limit, so no. I'm surprised I'm not over my army force limit, actually. But I'll take it. Uh, let's go stand in Kosovo itself, their highlands after all. Don't want the attacker penalty there. Right, Ottoman schemes. Poland will not join. But if I get... The... Call to war. What is it good? The prepare for war. If I use that, I could call in Poland. However, Poland apparently refused the personal union with Lithuania. That sucks for us. Can I? I probably can if I improve relations with Venice. I will. When will the annex subjects go away? 1465 till quite a few more years. Alright, Serbian. They rose up, they will be beaten down immediately. Definitely need the manpower right now. And I'm very much thinking of selecting our recruitment. So we do still have the build up our reserve. Let me get the seas land first. And I need Hill Monthly Admin, I think. Monthly admin power, please. Thank you. There goes the rebels. Perfect. Now. Their capital is in Dirne. How many... Favors do I have? Almost four already. So I think by the time my Diplo reputation has bounced back, I'll have my manpower back. And I'll be able to call in Poland and Naples against the Ottomans. I think that will be our go time. Is yeah, it should be. Pull and pull, that's fine. There we go, we're gaining manpower again. Except this stuff kinda... Coming. But not really. Let me get you over here. That should be enough to discourage the Albanians from rising up. Is it? 
Yes, yes it is. Alright. Bulgarians aren't really progressing. The Orthodox aren't really progressing. How fast are they going? Decent enough. I'll crack down on it to keep our clergy happy. Need to get our ability happy. And for that we need more manpower. Or an event. One or the other. But it's probably gonna be the manpower. Now, frequency of election. I get sort of vision. Devotion to the people. More here, the Republican tradition. Years of separatism is lowered. I don't like the maximum absolutism being lowered. Well, we can't get that because our rule is rule for life. Consolidate power in the Doge. This allows elections, but they already disallowed governing capacity is bigger. The election is not gonna happen. So it's either devotion or consolidation, and I'm gonna go consolidate. Consolidation. Definitely. Because that is one of the lesser parts of a republic, if I recall correctly, is that you can't really blob out as easily. Also, I'm gonna have to go to war with Crimea because they're just too similar in color to me. That's not gonna work out. Heretic. That's fine. Cancel titles, but... I never want to. Iberian Wedding happened. And Castile does not like me. I guess it's fair. I think I'm gonna go to speed 5 for a bit. At least until we have our manpower back. I also want these 15 over to Constantinople to take care of the Bulgarian separatists. But anyway, the growing power of the Council of Ten, with over 8,000 hereditary memberships. Counts the Great Council of Venice is perhaps not always the quickest and most efficient governing body. It is therefore not surprising that the much greater flexibility of the small Council of Ten, originally intended to safeguard the Republic from plots and conspiracies, has led to them assuming more and more power. By increasing its own power, however, the Council of Ten decreases the influence of the more representative Great Council. Many of the families on the Great Council feel things have gone too far as while new members of the Ten are elected each year, the positions are often monopolized by a small clique of old aristocrat families. Reforms have been proposed to curtail the power of the Ten by limiting their influence to emergencies as was originally intended. So we could restrict them, gain Republican tradition, we gain a restricted Council of Ten until the end of the game, more stability costs, more yearly Republic tradition, less aristocrat influence, and the council authority lowers faster, or we could support them, which gives the opposite effect, kinda. Hmm, I do like the three loyal states, because that's, those are nice 
passive bonuses if they're loyal. I do, however, also like the newly Republican tradition. But that's also already pretty high. And I might kinda wanna go into a monarchy. Maybe. We will see. I think I'll support them. For the loyalty of our estates. Burgers gain influence. Not what I'd like to see, but nothing we can do about it. There we go, there's the Shadow Kingdom. Which means they will probably just let them go. Which means I can expand after I've eaten a bit more of the Ottomans. Stop them from becoming too big. Let's see. Inquisition times, Venetian first, Christian second, or we are truly Catholic. Popman would get some opinion of us. We do not care about that they rival us. We do get missions first until the end of the game. More missionary strength. Or we gain more tolerance and religious unity. I think the missionary strength might go religious ideas. Especially if we own all of the Pope of well, Italy. Hungary, Bosnia, that's fine. Well, I, mm, I don't like the fact that they're eating it, but I can't do anything about it. We'll recall with Lithuania. They won't come in. They're at war with Teutonic Order. Oh, nice gold rush. I, however, do want the early inflation guy. Because we have way too much inflation. I will embrace the Renaissance. And do we upgrade our fleet? I don't think we do. Poland would not come in yet. Don't tell me you like the Ottomans. In what world do the Polish like the Ottomans? That almost never happens in this game. But of course it happens when I'm playing Venice. Of course it does. Well, we'll just have to find other allies that do hate the Ottomans. Like Lithuania. Hello. I'm going to go over our relations. That's going to be fine. Do I care about North Colorado? It's not really. I want the question. Trading family, Burgas will rebel eventually. Let me just load some autonomy wherever I can. It's gonna create some uprisings, but nothing we can't handle. Nothing at all we can't handle. Oh yeah, okay, power. Nice. Kinda surprises me that we are, but still, nice. For some reason I always thought that Venice had a much much more difficult start. But I think the AI just can't handle the Ottomans. I don't think they can really get the alliances that they need to protect against them. And they are definitely not skilled enough to fight against the Ottomans. So 
Burgers will rebel pretty soon. There we go. Standardized bikes. Definitely want the Yellow Gale infantry or more orphans. How quickly do we gain favors? 0.16. I think being able to call in Naples and Lithuania might do it. The fact that the Allied returns Oxiana is really bad for us. 